Hello everybody, <coughs> let me just die for a second. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jake's RC Stuff channel and welcome to part three of my build on the FT Goblin. I have screens everywhere, I'm watching the F1. Um, it's uh, the Silverstone <laughs> Grand Prix. Well, Stappen has just ended up sideways in a barrier because of Lewis Hamilton being a cock. Um, but yeah, so what I've done, compared to last time you saw this, I put some tape at the front and tape at the back as per the instructions. What they then say to do is get a piece of tape that's going to be about the length of, sort of the, the whole frame, if you like, and start it off here, then open it up and then flex it round, which I'm going to do something different, possibly to my own um, problem. I'm using clear gorilla tape, by the way. I'm going to clamshell it open like this, put the glue in, then squeeze it down as much as I can on this desk. Now I'm going to have to move the tripod out of the way to do that, um, but that will let me glue it because you've got to get this section that's flat on the desk to make sure the wing is flat. So I'll try and get that done now. Uh, the first two videos took a lot of editing, so if you enjoyed this video or the next video or whatever, I forgot to turn on the hot glue gun. So while well, I wait for that to heat up, I will get it to heat up and then we'll come back and we'll do some gluing. Right, let's uh, get this um, glued. So we're, we're applying glue basically all over all the end foam. Um, so a lot of glue to try and get out. Right, so I've got it now flat on the desk. I'm giving it a wipe. Got some paint because I've been painting my car, but that should now roughly be glued. I'm going to keep holding it for a little bit longer, uh, and then we've got to put tape sort of right on the front, round this edge, and to the side. Um, so um, we'll be back uh, very shortly. Just bear me a moment. Okie dokie. So we're going to be putting some more tape on the join. Quite in the middle, but it's uh, close enough. I'm probably going to cut that off there, I think. Fingers crossed it's not going to cause issues in the future with it not being lined up. But uh, there we are, there's a, a wing there. There's a bit of weight in there now. But there we are. Um, so I'll watch the next bit and see what we're going to do from here. Okie dokie, so I've got out the parts, we're actually moving on to the fuselage now. Um, everything that I've put red dots on, I need to remove down to the paper. Uh, and then go from there apparently. Um, so that's all the areas that we are removing. Um, I managed to get most of that information, to be brutally honest, off of the plants. Because the video isn't quite clear enough. Um, but uh, yes. Um, I have my scalpel, but I'm just going to, I might actually replace the scalpel blade again. Um, actually, I'm going to use the one that I think is up there. I think this has been used on something else, there's some grime on it. Um, I'm going to swap it over and get some of that cut out. So uh, let's get that started. Let me just go and get the knife blade.
based off the video. Ooh, don't bring that off. Um, I've got this ruler, put it in this sort of crease here and creased it. Same here, but I managed to put a line of the other ruler. That was the first one I did, the second one was a lot better. What we need to do next is get this bent up like this. Try and get them as square as we can, like that. And then obviously just put glue in the uh, foam where required. I'll see you all again very shortly. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this glued together 90 degrees. We're now going to focus on the little theme above. So put some glue in there, throw that right across there. And then we'll, uh, then we can squeeze this in like so. speed this or not we'll, we'll see in editing um i presume we're gonna do that as well if this isn't stuck to the table please thank you Okay, so next we're going to join this onto the top of this, well on top of these, where, the, where, where you've got these cutouts. So what we need to do is, if you can see in here, we've got like four holes. We've got to cut that out, and then we can pop it on top and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to do with these videos, because if you want the tutorial, watch their videos. Um, if not, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit concerned. So, uh, We'll see what's happening. Just uh, let's uh, get that sorted. Okay. So uh, now what I want to do? Glue here, glue here, glue here, glue across there, and blah blah blah. Pushing it into these slots here. As you've pushed out the air slot as well as the wing slots on this, but not this apparently. No, no. Do not do it. I think actually in the instructions they say to keep these in until I put it in, but I made a mistake because I am human. is put glue all the way around the outside of here making sure you don't go too far forward on there and a bit of glue in this jot and we're gonna jot I don't know what I was trying to do say and then if you put that up like that and I've got my little uh, square like so Okay, 
fingers crossed they have actually lined up properly so I can pop them out. And by jolly, I think they have. Um, excellent. So we can then do this side. Oh yes, uh, it's not slightly on screen, but there, that's that bit glowing. So that is the sort of two main bits of the fuselage done. Excellent, so uh, let's see what we've got to do next. Okie dokie, so our next step is gluing this onto the back. Now what they say is that the, the two holes here go against the foam here. The hole for the motor wires here, doesn't matter where they go. So um, we can get that sorted out and I'll get that glued on post haste. That is now in. The other thing they recommend is then to put a bit of tape over it. So I'm going to do that now. Right, so that looks excellent. Um, unfortunately, I've got a paint of that taste, so it's a bit mucky, which is a shame. Let's uh, see what's next. Mm -hmm. 